All right, y'all. Yo, 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 yo. We back once again with the True Hip Hop Podcast. It's your boy DJ Blaze. And that guy again. We back for episode 189. Uh. Right on time and we ready to shine. But before we get started, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Right now. Like, comment, and share. Right now. It helps us out <laughs> tremendously on the algorithm. Me and Wolf appreciate all we the do. love y'all we do. giving us. Humble. The giant been subscribing, so hit that bell. Bing! And make sure it's, it's us. all notifications, you heard? All right, man, we finna just dive right into these YouTube streets, man. Yesterday on Billboard magazine, man, they had the top 50 rappers alive of all time. You know, well, dead or alive of all time. And this list is horrendous, <laughs> to say the least. Man, horrible. But I'm going to read you the top 10, and we're going to get into the, the 50 in a minute. But the top 10 they had, at number one, they had Jay-Z. Number two, Kendrick Lamar. Number three, Nas. Number four, Tupac Shakur. Number five, Eminem. Number six, The Notorious B.I.G. Number seven, Lil Wayne. Number eight, Drake. Number nine, Snoop. And number ten, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> okay, I have a big problem with the top ten already. You know what I'm saying? We going man, listen, but why are we giving attention to these these people in their top 10? I guess to make it talk because we show talking about it. Everybody had an uproar about it, man. Fat Joe and them had an uproar. Fat Joe wasn't in the top 50. Is, is uh, he on the list? Nope, he wasn't on the list. Too Short wasn't on the list and John ja Rue wasn't on the list. Why? I'm saying, why are we talking about this? This list is made from some white dude, dude with glasses with his skinny jeans on. And think he know the history. You know the, no, yeah, think <laughs> he know the history of hip hop, bro. Right. He, I mean, whoever it is, that's their opinion. They have the right to their opinion. I always say that. You have a right to your opinion, but my opinion, as your opinion, we know the list isn't a good list. Yeah. If somebody so, gonna make a top hip hop list, man, that should be let the Benzino source do it. Cause the source was accurate all through when we was no, coming. No, think about the games. mics. The mic system. They were pretty they close. Were pretty, they were pretty close. Like, it would have been a much better list than this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean yeah. the list get hard and hard because I mean the list the new, is with new people and old people like Yeah, because the new talent no, they didn't. Have, they don't. Have, it's not I enough time. I don't see where, where, where Kendrick Lamar even at get up number in. two. You done surpassed Big and Nas. I mean, your, your your storytelling skills ain't as good as Big's or yeah, or nowhere near Nas. There's no way he should nowhere be no, on the, I mean, on the should, list. I, I'm not gonna say he shouldn't be on the list, but he should be in the top thirty. Man. But it, I'm yet and still, it's yeah. like, dude. They got Jada Kiss at 46, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Are you really Jada paying attention? Kiss. I don't understand why they're giving this much attention to this. Like, this, this is person crazy. is credible. Who is this person that's supposed to be credible yeah. for this list? Right, like, we don't even know who this person is. So man. why are we giving this much attention? So because everybody want to talk about it right now, man. Oh, okay. So give us your top ten. Because we were supposed to do this that one day at, at your crib, but we never all right. finished it. Number one. <clears throat> all I mean, now, when I get my top ten, does it matter about the they have to have ten albums? Listen. My, is my list is really, my, 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 my real yeah, list is, is really based on beats combining with the stu uh, structure the of criteria. flow. How you flow, nobody the delivery. Ever says that nobody ever says the criteria. Okay, right. We're gonna tell you the criteria. Right there, we go. A flow with bars. With bars. You I mean bars, you? realistic bars. Your storytelling ability. Okay. Your impact on hip hop. Your energy you with them, but I mean because uh, you know, album sales can be in there, but that's like the last factor. That's the last mixing factor. it all in. You know what I'm saying? And your consistency, consistency and longevity. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're gonna measure on. And go ahead with your top 10. All right, my top 10. Now, what if, okay, my top 10 would be number one big. I figure he's one of the best storytellers that I've ever heard yet. Right. I've never heard nobody tell a better story. 
Shout out to Big. Number two would be Tupac Shakur. I never heard nobody who have the substance and delivery of that, of even with the voice to right. distinguish himself on right. the top, Very on my top list. Voice. Number three, I'm going to have to give it to Nas. Nas had a strong body of work. He always go at his competitors. He was afraid to go at Big, and he was afraid to go at, at Pac. So that's why I had to drop him to number three. Number four will possibly be Jay-Z, even though with his creativity, he still had bit a lot of people lyrics. That's mm -hmm. the reason why I won't put him up so high. But his longevity and his creativity, even with reasonable doubt and the streets is right. watching. The Blueprint. Blueprint. The those Dynasty, are nice albums. Album. Those are those are unskippable albums. Right. He got five classics. He got five classics and he got unskippable albums. Yep. Number five, I will have to go with Big Pun. Whoa. Big Pun was, I, as I listened to more of Big Pun, Pun was structuring that where he only, he really lived what he said. And he put it into rhymes. Mm -hmm. Like his actual incident. Pun had that flow, man. And Bra he had that hey, flow. Hey, Brave in My Heart, well, that's my shit, man. He snapped so hard on Brave in My Heart, man. Oh my God. And then number six. <laughs> You know, let me think about number six. Number six is because I know I'm I know I'm probably forgetting some people, but I will still put LL Cool J up there in my top top ten. Mm -hmm. LL is still in my top ten. He was the GOAT. He was the greatest of all time for a moment. But people surpassed him just like Kareem. Le Le LeBron did Kareem. But he was the GOAT. He was the GOAT. Cause Jay Z know was all them trying to reach to his level. Right. You understand? And um and, and uh 50 and, cent, you know. And then my number nine, I then I have to give it to before I give it to any of these young cats, man. Bro, I have like I have to give it to Ice Cube. Right. Ice Cube in my top 10. Because not only, I mean, cuz his West, we it's the difference between between East and West Coast structure. Right. Ice Ice Cube was able to take it from east and west mm -hmm. with his versatility of his flow, and he was writing for NWA. Right. He was a ghost writer too. Jay Z was a ghost writer. Big was a ghost writer. And then when he went to New York to do America's Most Wanted, that was like his when, best album. Man, man. Lethal when, Injection. When he went right to New man, York to do so, that album. And these young cats, I don't get. So, I don't have a young cat in my young my top ten. Bro. Me either. My list is the same, you know. I, but I just got. It's a little different. I still got. I got. Um, I got Jay uh, at three, and you got Nas at three. Okay. And um, that cube, I got um, too short because that was my yeah, guy. Okay, yeah, he got to get in there. He got to get in there. <laughs> he was he my guy. I was bro. going to, so Shorty he probably the be pimp. around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a so player. you got where you put him at? Like number I, I, nine. Like nine. Okay. And then okay. Ten. Um, I always think about this. I I got three people always at ten. It's always Fifty Cent, Fat Joe, and Jada Kiss. Okay. I can't never okay. really know who. To okay. Put what at about ten? 10? You know can, what I'm saying? I, I like those three. I like those I, three. I just nice can't. Spot. I'm like, damn, which one? Like, because I like them all. Like Fat Joe, my guy. I grew up on Fat Joe, man. Jealous ones, envy. You know what I'm saying? Um, Don Cartagena. He got. He got the flow, the structure with the writing. Right. Fat Joe can write his ass off. He never makes whack albums, man. Those right. albums be strong, and people sleep on them, man. Y'all can say, oh, he shouldn't be saying nigga. We don't want to listen to. Oh uh, yeah. He no, got, he's he still got black, right. man. Yeah, he's he Puerto right. Rican. He Puerto explained Rican. this already. Re grandmother in the club. Yeah, he you already explained me? this, man. He got jumped by black people every day. He was in the projects in the fucking Bronx, he is, man. Yeah. Like, come on. But the Don kind of Gina, man, that's a no-skip album. 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying is not, a no-skip album. Yeah, 50 in there. 50, I'm but thinking, he ain't in the top I always 10 thought, yet. damn, did Jada Kiss got a classic album? Like Kiss, Kiss the, the Game, Game Goodbye. Goodbye. That, that's the only one I can really ever think of. You know, that's non-skippable. Non-skippable. No, that's, that's, that's why I don't know if I could put them at 10. But LL's in the right place because LL... The GOAT, man. The I got GOAT him at album. eight. 
Okay, yeah, because that album, his albums was dope. Yeah. Since Rock the Bells. Yeah. You he cannot was, deny LL, bro. You cannot he deny always, him. He always had the hardcore side and the and, ladies side. Man, he always versatility. Did he always had the versatility. <laughs> the, whole, um, the whole time. Even with the Big Daddy Cave. Oh, demon. fun fact. Yeah, I bet y'all didn't know 50 Cent wrote for LL Cool J. That Love You song. That yeah. one with Gabriel Union, Union in, the, yeah. in the video. He wrote that. Paradise. Yeah. 50 Cent wrote that for him. You know? But um, definitely LL, Mr. Smith, Radio. Um, damn. Yeah, LL yeah. has a lot of bangers, man. Classic. Bad. Like, I need love. Like, yeah, you can't, you can't forget those. But, These new rappers... They off that pills and all that stuff, so they. There's really, no way I can have a, no, I can't um, have a new rapper. A Drake or a Nicki Minaj, or the baby or Lil baby or none of them. J uh, Cole. It's another thing. I, I like J Cole, but Joe J Cole he album. Like Thirty. Yeah, his album. What he ain't have a non skip album. Um, I, Kendrick Lamar Dreamville. don't have a huh. Dreamville, Forest Hills. That was non skip. But uh huh, uh. uh uh, I won't put now. Ten years later, they got him now, over two like, eyes, though. See, but you think about it though. Like I said, with Big and and Nas, got you, know, him at 15, you can still play like, those albums. They they had old. J Cole at fifteen. That's that's kind of too high, man. At this high. time. Yeah. Uh, but at 26 but, but then you got to talk about my, Black Thought in there. Black nah, Thought. Well, my Black Thought ain't in my top ten. You know, with the roots, he had him out there. I mean, he was—he's always been a creator spitter. He just never picked the right beats and the never marketed himself great enough for that. Who? Black Thought. Right. Yeah. But Buster Rhymes there was be higher. Big overseas. Buster Rhymes could be higher too, because I mean, yeah, they got him all the way at what? Thirty-three. Nah, Buster Rhymes should be in the top twenty. Yeah, definitely. Him and Ti should be. Him and Ti should be in the top twenty. They got Curtis Blow at 23. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, Curtis Blow. Nah, bro. Nah, LL. <laughs> they they, they could have put Ja Rule right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. They put Melly Mel and Curtis Blow over Ja Rule. Ja Rule's not even on the list. Like, that's insane to me, man. Ja Rule yeah, has so mad hits. Like, man. Mad hits. And they, and put he, it on me, always on time. And he, and he has. And his heart. And, his, and even his heart Welcome albums. To New York. Was, yeah. Oh my God, he had some bangers. You know what I'm saying? Like, they Curtis Blow over Ja Rule, man. Really, really Billboard. <laughs> Is that a Billboard chart? Um, yeah. Oh man, Billboard. You should. You know they knew there was gonna get controversy with something. Else. They said we gotta put some controversy in here. Man. We can't have it straight up because nobody gonna pay attention. If we make it controversy, then everybody gonna have a remark to say about it. It was a good strategy, y'all. Cause that's like I said from the beginning. Why are we talking about this list? Yeah. Man, me and Wolf are going to make the list for the next 100 years. You know what I'm saying? Man, we need we to. We got to come to true hip-hop, man. We're going to give y'all the real list. The real list. <laughs> real knowledgeable about this game. Yeah, we know about hip-hop, man. man. For real. Like, we know who should be where. Good music is, yeah. is not... Everybody can't select good, there's no good music. Everybody don't know good music. Right. Man. Especially a white executive in the top Man, office bro. with glasses on, thinking he knows. He made We're no gonna sales. put Melly Mel in made, here. He made no We're gonna sales. Put KR. He just probably had a list of rappers somewhere and just was said, "Well, who's up. Melly Mel? <laughs> he probably don't even know. Oh, he was one of the first pioneers of rap. Uh, oh well, uh, yeah. go ahead and put him in that. You third. can tell how the list is structured, man. You know they not thinking about lyrics because you know they were they're not, not looking about the criteria. The criteria man. and the I don't know what they doing. They gotta look at the criteria. They're just picking right, people. They just, they just, <laughs> they just oh, who, who was 50 Cent? All right, man. We got to oh, move on, though, man. Is. We almost running out of time, man. I want to give a big shout-out to LeBron James for breaking Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record, man. 38,388 points. You know what I'm saying? He now surpasses him. But now it's back up for the GOAT debate, man. Is he the GOAT or not? No. I say no. <laughs> no, he ain't the GOAT, bro. You just, you, you got Accolade. You got another Accolade on your belt, but you're not the GOAT, bro. So you going to say, with Bill, uh, with uh, Westbrook breaking Bill right. Russell triple double record, though, right. is he the GOAT? Right. Nah. No, that's another thing with criteria. Y'all got to look at the criteria of the accomplishments of what people has done in the NBA. You yeah, because what is it? Uh, four and uh, four and six. Four and six, yeah. 
Tim Duncan only five and this, one. This is what I Tim tell Tim Duncan um, five and one. This is what I tell people. Um, and LeBron had great players around him. Every time, if you take a test with ten questions on it and you only get five four right, you flunk the test. Yeah. <laughs> you got forty percent out of a hundred. And that's flunking. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you got you got a period. You got to look at the numbers. The mm-hmm. numbers don't lie. The if vote you, would not if be. If you would have, LeBron, if you would have went 10 for 10, bro, it would have oh, been no, no question. question. You <laughs> won 8 for 10. You would have won 7 for 10. Like. You won 7 out of 10, then yeah, right. there were no questions. Yeah. There no questions. Been. 7 out of 10. Who going who gonna to question that? But the, the the point that you lost so many championships, you lost two Olympics. He, how you get a bronze medal? Come on, bro. They started calling them LeBron's. He got a gold, a bronze medal. He had to have Kobe help him get a gold. Like, come on, man. Those factors, getting a bronze medal, yeah, losing championships, yeah, Jordan and doing all that bronze. flopping, and they're like and crying. Remember the other night he got that tech, and that, I mean uh, that missed foul call, and he acting a damn fool. Just trying to jump around. <laughs> <laughs> he acting. How you miss this? <laughs> he fouled me. They should have gave him a tech for that, man. They gave Patrick Beverly one. <laughs> you know he the fall guy. That's why he was he was hired over at LA. <laughs> you the fall guy. You won't take all the techs for us. So LeBron don't lose no money. Whatever you lose, we'll pay it back. <laughs> That's we funny. need you and your uh, your stupidness. Now he over in o- in Orlando. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all stream Alpha King on all platforms. Alpha King two and one. One and all two. Of them. You know, Spotify, Title, YouTube, iTunes, DJ. Right, right now. now. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. What we'll right. you got any shout outs? Shout, shout out, out to, to my city. city. We out of here. One love. Hey. Peace.